Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. And uh, today we're gonna be looking at the stacked bin. There we go. All right, well, let's see how everybody's doing. Pugs are doing fine, in case anybody wanted to know. So let's see, we all agree, oop, worm ball on the plastic bag. But I agreed that we would feed where the bag was, and sure enough, look at that, worm ball-ish. Let's move everything over and see what we've got. Got any food or anything still under here? Well, it's looking kind of dry. And I'm also not seeing any of the food. Oh, I just stuck my finger. Oh my. Yeah. I thought I stuck my finger in food. No, look at that little baby worm ball. Look at all those babies. Hi, babies. Yep, it looks like that's not the end of the worm ball here. Looks like there's just a crazy teenager pile here. Because we gave this a really huge feeding last time. Really huge. They have just absolutely murdered it. That's good, because I cleared out my freezer and I got seven pounds of pureed food. If these guys are done with their food, that's good, because I certainly have more than enough to load them up. Let's see, we've, we've checked just about everywhere and there was a worm ball on the one end. But we're still not seeing any, any food. I found my bubble wrap. So this can be the first bin that gets the, the bubble wrap. So seeing a lot of blue worms. I'm seeing a lot of cocoons. Some reds. Occasional European night crawler. All right, I found one banana, partial banana. So that looks like out of that whole huge feeding that I did last time, that is the only thing left is that one piece of banana. Okay, well that's good because I have a lot of food and these guys are on deck to take care of it for me. All right, I will bring you back when I have the next layer off. Okay, so I got the next layer off. And like always, it is super nice and moist in here. The castings look basically done. I mean, I do kind of see some coconut bar and some little bits of paper but for the most part, they've really gone gaga on this end, which they do. That's pretty normal. I mean, you can see all along here, that's pure castings. So even though I don't advocate really buying a stacked system, this, particular setup I have works particularly well. It's got the tons and tons of worms and it's got several areas where it's completely undisturbed most of the time. So I'm gonna finish fluffing up this layer 
and we'll bring you back when I have the next layer undone. Okay, now we are down to the very bottom. Moisture is awesome down here. Probably a little wetter than I would do it on purpose, but uh, they love it, so who am I? But you can tell this is just castings. There's flecks of the paper that doesn't go as fast as the others. But just looking at this, you can see that they have totally gone through everything down here. So I'm going to fluff them up. And then we're going to feed all the levels today because I have an excess of food. And so they are going to all get fed, which is unusual. So I'll bring you back when I got the food out. Alrighty, I'm back. I've taken out five or six handfuls out of here to accommodate for the feeding. And since it is a wet feeding, I'm going to put down the shredded cardboard and paper first. All right, so here's my feeding. And this is a lot of everything that was in my freezer. Uh, grapes, raspberries, lots of apples. I have apple trees that sometimes just totally drop everything. Now I'm just gonna mix this all together because this is on the bottom. so I don't have to worry about things getting into the bottom layer. So I can get everything wet, all the paper, get that wet with the food. And because it's a lot of sugar, put another sprinkle of buffer in there. Got the next layer up. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Take out three big handfuls. Yeah, more because I put the handfuls from the layer below under that. Same thing. Some paper. Got my bags. Just gonna wad them up in the corner. Some coffee filters, put them in the corner. There's the feeding. There's the buffer, and again, this is the middle layer, so nothing's going to get in here. Not in this layer specifically, anyway. this to the big boy bin. It's getting harvested before anything else, so these castings will 
come out with the big boy. Okay. Yeah, maybe one more. All right. So I don't have a lot of spare room here. So I'm gonna make sure everything's completely fluffed up. And I'm gonna feed right down the middle. There we go. All right, well, I don't usually do that, but I'm gonna put a corn on the cob because I just happened to have one. All right, so there we go. And big old bunch of buffer. I said it's a lot of sugar, it's a lot of fruit. And I want to make sure that it doesn't go acidic on me. So I'm going to cover that up very nicely. I can smell it. I'm sure that the gnats can smell it. Already trying to get rid of, I have too many of those. Okay, so this is my homage to the pumpkin bin. I just found a butternut squash stem. So here's my homage to the pumpkin bin. We'll put that there. If everybody liked this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Leave your comments below. I love hearing what everybody has to say, learning from everybody. All right, and there we go. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good day.